All right. Boogie. Yes. I I want to talk to you about somebody. Who's that? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about DSP. Oh. Yeah. I love him. I love him too. What's new with him? Well, the uh uh, Boogie, Boogie would know more about. It. Okay, first of all, do, should we explain who DSP is? Not to Probably. me. Probably. DSP is an asshole on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, actually, for the longest time, I thought it was DBP, douchebag Phil. Douchebag. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I actually thought that's what it was. I thought he was openly named himself douchebag. No, no, he wouldn't be. He, he would have respect <laughs> if he did that. Yeah, that's too. That's too honest. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's it stands for dark side Phil, but it. It, uh, you know, it's dipshit Phil, really. Lurker knows. Lurker knows, yeah. Lurker knows. This screamy punk bitch. I wouldn't call him a punk. A <laughs> bitch. Maybe a sleazeball. Yeah, he's a sleaze. He's definitely a sleazeball. Um, especially, especially considering. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, nope. Boogie, you, I didn't know about him until Boogie was like, hey, there's this dude that does terrible Let's Plays. So okay. I'm down. Yeah. And, and Boogie's like, well, there's these people that make montages of his terrible Let's Plays. So, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch one. So, we in, that night, I think it might have been the first time you and I ever talked, too. I'm not sure. It's the first time that we really <laughs> talked without Zooty around. True. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> we watched the entire, like, three-hour thing on him doing Dark Souls. I We... <laughs> <laughs> we we basically pulled an all nighter watching Dark Side film. We did, and it was it was like, man, this dude is horrible. This dude's not. This dude's bad. What's you know? some of oh, like yeah. the worst things you in his in his LP that you can mention? Uh, well, I don't know. He's just <laughs> he's just, he had a lot of shitty dick jokes, a lot of whining. Oh, the game fucking, it's the game's fault that I died in a game <laughs> where people kill. He's one of those ass, and he's fucking whiny about it. He'll blame the developers for. Why can't they optimize this? Why can't they fuck? It's the script's fault. It's all this bullshit. When it's, you know, it's his fault. Because he, does, he doesn't take the fucking time to do it. Yeah. He doesn't take the time to play. And he, and he rushes through all the games because he's trying to get money. Because this, by the way, Lee, Lee, this is his livelihood. He doesn't have a job. This is how he makes money. This is how he pays right. for a house that he just bought. Yeah. So he depends on this. And not only mm -hmm. that, but he's using a Patreon, not in the way that you use it, legitimately. But he's using it in a way to uh, extort money from people who are somehow still loyal to him. I don't understand it. So what, does uh, he hold his we... content hostage? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Once, once we get into the, some of the stuff he's been doing with it, you'll fucking get it. Yeah. So, like, okay, so he, he wants to play a game. He want, one was Minecraft. That was an early Patreon goal that he had. So he's, yeah. And he always shat on Minecraft. And it's not like it's my favorite game, but I recognize its influence, you know? So... He always shot on it for being a fad, this, that, and the other. <clears throat> and uh, blind hate is what he had to it. That's the best way I can. That's the best way I can say it. He had blind hate. So, fucker, fucker says, guys. Um. He's like, I'm, I'll play Minecraft. How much was it, Boogie? I don't remember. I don't remember. It was like I think it was like a, it could have been a thousand a month. I think maybe a thousand if he hits a goal of. And he doesn't use Patreon in the way that that people should. He uses it. Uh, it's not like a monthly thing. He will say, "Guys, I want a thousand dollars to play Minecraft." Bottom line. And then he did it. And then he'll put it behind another paywall and say, "If you want to see more of it, it's now twelve hundred dollars a month." So he's basically extorting people. And now he's promising things. And he'll say, guys, th there's a shitty fucking series that he wanted to do that he used to do with his friends that his old fans know about. I forget. Was, isn't it like Project 7? Yeah. yeah, Project 7 with John Rambo. I mean, it's all shit anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But basically, they, got, they, they paid him for it. They paid him $1,200 for it. And now he's like, guys, I'm not going to be making Project 7. So, uh, you know, I'm going to keep the money. I'm not going to refund anything. And if you want, you might be able to be in, like, a holiday special of mine. And that's yeah. that's what he did. So he stole money. He stole money, basically. Yeah. 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 He, had, he had a $75 backer tier that specifically, the whole point of it was to get into Project 7. And now it's fucking gone and all those $75 people are shit out of luck. Yeah. And he's, oh, and, my God. 
uh, yeah, it's it's fucking shitty. I guess that's kind of what they get, though. I mean, they should. Yeah, they should know he's a. Where's their judgment? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's how lonely are the people that fan this guy? Exactly. Uh, that's another question, but you know, you, you like who you like, no matter how much of a dick yeah. they are. So and Phil's opposed. Phil's response to this was basically, "Well, technically, I don't owe you anything." Because it's not a promise of material, it's you're funding my creativity, and I can do what I want with it. Yeah. I, I can't tell you one thing for sure, is that <clears throat> these, the Patreon system is geared more towards the consumer, really, than the producer. They, they, as I understand it, they could actually ask for all the money back they've ever they, given. They could. And, but... it, and there's no guarantee they'd get it, but Patreon would hold it against... Yeah, producer. But see, that's the thing, though. This fucking guy did this, and multiple people have submitted uh, fucking grievances against him. And they're like, eh, you know, he he amended his goals after the fact, by the way. So they're not getting their money back, basically. It, it, it's it's kind of shitty. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's that Patreon is like, it's just fucking DSP. <laughs> I, yeah. don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. So that's like one thing that he does that's really shitty. That's really shitty. It's really shitty. Uh, another thing that he does is, um, well, he's a dick. He's a he's a, he's really kind of a dick. Uh, I've never seen anybody treat their fans the way he does. Um, yeah. The few that he has, you know, it's not like he's he he does this for a living. He has one hundred and sixty thousand subs or something like that on his main channel, which it's a lot more than I have, but it's also not a lot in the grand scheme of you want to be a not YouTube. enough to buy a house. Yeah, it's not. It's like you want to be a YouTube entrepreneur <laughs> with one hundred and sixty thousand subs. Go buy a house. I know why you bought the house, by the way. I it made sense to me when I was listening to one of those three hour fucking things at work, Boogie. Yeah. Um. Uh. It was you know how people watch him and they endure his bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of those, and uh, he was touring his office. You know, okay. he's, you know, he calls his, his fucking room his office. Yeah. And he said, to the government, this is an office. That means I can this, this, it is a place of business. He calls, by the way, Lee, he calls his game room his office, his place of business, because he's a dick. Mm -hmm. And it made sense to me. He fucking moved so he can get out of taxes. Yeah. He fucking moved so he could get out of taxes. That's well, it. How do you get out of taxes by moving? Because he's claiming it as a fucking business expense. Oh. Yeah. Not bad. It's not bad, but it's so fucking smarmy, you know? Well, I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of taxes. I know, but still. Whatever. Whatever works for him. Right. I mean, is, he's just dodging shit that's just going to accumulate. Yeah. You mean he's got, he's got the lifestyle of someone who's always trying to be clever rather than honest and sort of in, with integrity? I mean, he has he's no, trying. Not, that, not that I would say taxes necessarily yeah. makes you honest he's... with his integrity, but... <clears throat> But he's that his trying, life is a trail of this. Yeah, he's trying to be clever without being clever, and thinks he's clever. Yeah. Oh, he thinks he's the shit, dude. He, th <laughs> he thinks he's hot shit. So what I really want to talk to Boogie about, because Boogie Boogie is the biggest sort of ironic fan of Phil that I know. Oh, immense ironic fan of yeah, Phil. Yeah, me too. Is uh, recently, uh, he has two two channels. Lee, he has a vlog channel. And he has his gaming channel. His gaming channel is the bread and butter of what he makes. Uh, his vlog channel is like, oh, I'm going to post a video of me eating a hamburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some of that. Yeah, yeah. He so, does a review on like a chicken sandwich. Exactly. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, anyway, this fucking slob. He, 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 he goes onto his website some time ago and he says, guys, guys, how about some, because he streams all the time too. How about some fan art? For my streams and what he does is he'll put pictures up like i have now of people who have i don't know photoshopped his face onto video game characters shitty shitty fucking job you know yeah. they just copy and paste it over and then they send it to him and and all that kind of shit so that happens so he gets all this that's what he runs during his streams when he just yaps uh but one dude made like a real intro for him like a legit intro really worked hard at it and i cannot tell if the dude was just planting the seed of his fucking retribution or if he was a legit fan at the beginning but he let phil put the intro on all these videos and then the dude months later went and fucking flagged all the intros for copyright oh yeah 
I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! He almost got his channel taken down for that. Oh, yeah, and, he should have. He should have waited like six months. He did wait that long. He did. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He did this like back in February or something. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking and and Phil streams on YouTube to. He basically streams and just uploads all that shit in ten minute chunks. There's no editing. Yeah, he just cuts it. But, no, uh, no editing. Puts it up. <laughs> Yeah, and he streams on YouTube, and his stream fucking got shut down in, like, in the middle of it. In the middle of it, yeah. Well, not the, fir the first one that happened. It happened to his vlog channel. And uh, he, because he doesn't stream on that God, one. that's fucking brilliant. Oh, I know, man. Or he wasn't streaming on it at the time. Uh, he, they're like, Phil, your channel's fucking, something's going on. So he goes over there, and he basically has a bitch fit over it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'd be annoyed, but I... I the fucking guy made the shit. He can flag it, you know? He probably wanted his cut, if anything. Do you think, do you think, okay, do you think that he, he gave it to him for free plotting? Maybe. And then later fucked him? Or do you think, I on think, purpose, the I, whole time, like a scheme? I, I think that's or a possibility. Or do you think the guy did something to upset him after the fact? I think both of those are possibilities. But I think, I think it leans more on the edge of a, the guy was, was a fan. Yeah. Like he wanted he wanted Phil to use his stuff. Like even he Phil went on and talked about how the guy was a troll and stuff. And yeah, he was a troll, but he was still a fan. Yeah. You know, he caused problems cuz it was fun to him, but he still liked Phil. And I think what uh I think what threw him over the edge was the Patreon shit. I think so. Yeah, because he Oh, really? That's Oh, wow. Yeah, because he promised uh something and he didn't. I think it was probably Project 7. Yeah, maybe there's he, multiple things. Yeah, maybe he even you know paid for it. Yeah, maybe maybe he was one of the pledgers. Yeah. Who knows? But so did all those videos get taken down? Those videos did get taken down. Of course, he counter uh, claimed and all that, and it's all in in limbo right now, more or less. So anyway, that happens to his vlog channel a few days ago. How many how many videos are you talking about? I think he did. He managed hundreds. Yeah, he went through a lot of them, but that was just his vlog channel. And Phil, you can kind of tell, didn't care as much about his vlog channel. So, I think yesterday, the day before now, his main channel started, same thing. He was midstream, and his stream cut off, because he got a copyright midstream. Uh, same shit. I don't think it was the same guy, but it was a lot of people flagging. I don't know if it was a lot of people. It might have just been one guy. I have to watch that. It's, it's just a couple people. Okay. I have to watch his bitch video again. I like, I like how you have to find the incriminating stuff on him through him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, if you want to know what happened. Yes. So get this, Lee. So this fucker... You should obscure it, you know? I know, man. So this fucker gets flagged on his main channel now, and he's... I mean, I'd be angry. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. If I was making all my income off of a channel, I'd be like, oh, shit. But he's had it come in his karma and all this. So mm -hmm. he, he's, he's doing his little rant video about getting flagged on his main channel, and, um... People are flagging, not videos now, they're just flagging still images that they made of him with his face. And he's like, I own the copyright to my face and all this bullshit. Like, oh my what, God. what the fuck ever? He's like, he's trying to fucking get... <laughs> like, he, yeah. like, he, like he went to some legal office and, and copyright, had his face his likeness. copyright. Yeah, yeah. He contradicts himself in the video. Mm -hmm. Several he times. Like says, he says the guy made the fan art. I guess ironically, and posted it on his Twitter, and then shortly afterwards, somebody took it and put it into Phil's fan art thing, and then Phil used it. And then Phil says, well, that, it's my face, and it was in my fan art thing that said I might use it, so it's mine. <sighs> when the guy <laughs> previously made it and put it up on his own Twitter before right. all that. Right. So, he's complaining about all this. and so it's, like, it's like a revolution over there. Kind of, yeah. It's, overthrowing it's, it's a great Bill. train wreck to fucking watch. Anyway, in the middle of this fucking video, this is what this fucker says. This is what this fucker says. Get this. <laughs> this blew my mind. This made me... If, if he had ever had the chance of a turnaround, which I don't think he would have anyway, this, would, this ruined it for me. He said that filing copyright strikes is the same as putting a gun to his face. And it's the way he said it, dude. It's, yeah. Because you can, you looked into his eyes and he fucking meant it. That base, that shutting down a YouTube channel was the same as being threatened with a gun in your face. I mean, it's such a fucking, oh, fucking pissed me off. Was, was he saying it like, 
in search for pity? No, he said it because that's what he thought. Oh, like self-righteous sort of? Yeah, yeah. He said it because that is what he fucking thought. Because he views his YouTube channel, obviously, as his livelihood. But he put himself in the situation where he's depending on it for, a, you know, income. He laid the bed that he's, you know, about to be in. God, I hope he's in it. I, I hope so. it's going to be as soon. I hope, I hope it's a, not a bed. I hope it's total fucking internet grave. Oh, man. It's soon. Like, uh, all this shit's starting to fucking crumble around him. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I yeah. think it's... I think it's, it's nice coming to see justice. Quick. It is. Yeah. Every every like every like six months or so, people who are tired of his shit and are close to him pull something major. Mm -hmm. Like his last fans time, are his worst enemy. Yeah, last time it was his moderators on his forums and his twi Twitch That's and right. all that. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What happened? They were. They basically, one of the moderators kind of spoke out against one of Phil's decisions in his stream. He was like, Phil, we talked about this because I guess they had secret talks. And he's like, Phil, we talked about this. You're not just going to randomly ban people anymore. You leave it to us. And Phil responded by demoting that person, basically. Yeah. And so all of the mods and shit banded together, shut down his website and forums and all that shit, and basically put out messages saying we're done. So but all of basically all of Phil's backbone disappeared. Yeah, yeah. And he relies heavily on his website, too, for shit. Mm -hmm. So it really kind of crippled him. That was one. The other time was when that dude built him the computer. Do you remember that? Yeah, the guy that built him the computer out because he was a huge fan. Mm -hmm. And then and that, Phil gets it. And it, was, it didn't work properly. And it didn't sound like it was huge issues, either. No, it worked. It's just Phil's an idiot. Yeah. yeah. And didn't do things right. Yeah. Fucked things up. And blamed the guy who built the computer and... But the, bitched about him and stuff. But the thing, the guy that built him the computer was one of the owners of the domain for his website. No, did at, he know that? At the time. Oh, yeah, he knew that. That's why he trusted the guy. And that's why the guy trusted Phil. And the guy, I don't think the guy was ever in the wrong. Because it turned out the computer had something wrong with the fan. The case was cracked. It was, it was, it was, uh... Shipping. Yeah, it was shit that could be fixed. And it's not like Phil didn't have the money at the time. Yeah. This and the what, guy yeah. the guy even said that he'd fix it up for him if there's any problems. Right. He said, I will be your tech support. So Phil, <laughs> being the drama fucking queen that he is, he, uh, I don't know, he, he said, I, I don't know, man, you've fucking built me a he, lemon. Yeah, yeah he, declares every, he declares it's bullshit and that the fan screwed him, mm -hmm. basically. And then the guy a free computer. He, it's not a free computer. It was not it a free computer. Free. He did. Pay, it was. It was. It was heavily discounted. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yes. And the guy was willing to help him. Yeah. The guy builds computers for a living, and he heavily discounted it for Phil. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a shit thing either. I mean, it was a good PC. It had good shit in it. And uh, I don't know. Phil. Phil was pissed that it didn't function out of the box and all this bullshit. And so the guy was like, you know what? Fuck you, dude. I, uh, I don't want to be part of your website anymore. So I don't. There's a huge fucking thing against it. And I think that's kind of when it started. When everybody was like, I'm going to rebel against this asshole. Yeah. Yeah. That's when. Uh, that's when the the fucking Kojima World <laughs> Order Those shit guys? started. Yeah. 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 What are you talking about? The people who make a lot of the parodies that go under the name Kojima World Order. Oh, and the Sons of Kojima, too, right? That's another yeah, one. Yeah, because cause Phil has something against the game developer Hideo Kojima for some fucking reason. Right. He constantly makes fun of him and says he sucks and all that in his videos, so they just took and, the name. And, and, they, and this was created over him, over Phil, basically? Yeah, okay, okay, he was playing Metal Gear Solid, which is a great game, we all know this. Like, oh, yeah, my fave. And well, Phil, one of them. Phil didn't... Phil was having trouble because he's a dipshit. He's a fucking yeah. idiot. And he was having trouble, so he started dissing Hideo Kojima, who, mm -hmm. who made the game. Yeah, and like a million other famous games. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and it, and he, I mean, it wasn't just dissing, it was like. Uh, if, if, Straight up hate speech. Everything's <laughs> wrong with the way, how he runs his company, like down to the way he runs his company, you know. 
<laughs> like how do they how do Phil even know that you fucking read? Yeah, I know. Like yeah, be- because of because he got caught by some soldier in a video game. Yeah, exactly, dude. That he was designed to because he couldn't caught. because he couldn't fucking pick up a health kit that's right in front of his goddamn face. He's that bad, man. Yeah, he's like, how do I how do I use the rations? Yeah, that was a big moment in that game. <laughs> Another one was when he equips coolant in his fucking yes. main hand weapon doesn't realize it and goes to shoot a guy and he's like i didn't equip the coolant <laughs> and you know who he blames he blames the he blames kojima the way, the way kojima runs his office yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. exactly and because of that, that's why the sons of kojima and the kojima world order came up against phil <laughs> You mean we're invented, right? We're, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Hey, what are they, like YouTube channels? Yeah, they're just guys what? that are like, fuck this guy. They're just, they're guys that make video montages of the worst parts of film. You know, I'm, a lot of them are actually fan, people who were fans of him. Almost all of them. Almost all of them, because that's how they know about him. I wonder how they first organized. That's what I really wonder. I don't know, man. It's not that hard to contact them, actually. It's funny. You can ask him. <laughs> I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool to make a kind of anti uh, douchebag Phil or whatever his name is. It'd be it'd be funny if if you could get more fans for that than from his actual channel. Oh, his like his this is how you don't plays have way more views than some of his real playthroughs. Oh really? Oh yeah. People who make what's it called? This is how you don't play. Yeah, search this is how you don't play, and I guarantee you the first thing that's going to pop up is a DSP game. Oh, yeah, it will. I'm, I'm telling. I won't you. listen now, but I'm gonna look. At yeah, that. and some of them, dude, they're great. The Spider-Man one, come on, <laughs> come on. This is how you don't. It's good times. So anyway, the dude's a dick. And when he first started Patreon, you remember how he wanted the camera boogie? Yeah. He wanted six hundred dollars. No, he wanted like twelve a thousand dollars for a camera. Mm-hmm. Wait, what's what's the best one? I should look up. I like Spider-Man? the I like the Spider-Man one. There's, is that better I'm, than Dark Souls? Dark Souls is fucking fantastic. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh my Met- god. Metal <laughs> Gear. Metal Gear great. Solid. Yeah, Lee. You. Metal, Metal Gear. Solid. Metal Gear Solid is a classic one. All of his Metal Gear Solid ones are classic. Jesus, dude. Even the don't plays are hours long. Yeah, they're. Jesus. Yeah. I love the. I like the Grand Theft Auto ones personally. But anyway, anyway, so. Lee, this guy wants a thousand dollars for a camera, right? Because uh-huh. he, he wants to make this fucking web series that's going to be shit anyway. He stole from Patreon. You know what he got? He got like soundproofing foam, not sound, sound treatment foam. And he got, um, what was it, a microphone? I forget. Mm-hmm. A microphone or something. That was not a thousand dollars. And he pocketed the rest of the money. Wait, what did he, what, what did he get? What was he, his camera? He, he, want, he wanted a thousand dollars for a new camera. Yeah, yeah. And he took that money and he spent probably two hundred of it on a microphone and some sound treatment foam. And he po- oh he pocketed. God. He stole. He stole. Yeah. He, he stole. I mean, did you did you ever watch any of his videos where he was playing games with his friend John Rambo? I've seen a few of those. Well, him and John Rambo had that falling out a while back. Oh, really? Yeah, and. Uh, Recently, John Rambo put up a video just fucking taking shots at Phil. The pay me really? tons. Really? Yeah, the pay, pay me, me tons. tons. And when he calls up fucking Google, <laughs> he calls- that was that was great. Yeah. What happened? Tell me about this. He he makes a video just basically making fun of Phil and his his pay me tons for Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like a parody. Yeah. yeah, it's a parody. Yeah, and it's DSP. obvious who he's getting at, you know. Yeah, he even he even says at the start something like, "Hey guys, or... being being famous has its dark side." Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, after that, a, a bunch of DSP fans wrote a lot of hate comments on his video, mm. and he calls Google customer service to file complaints against his own channel by reading those comments. <laughs> <laughs> so just the guy on the phone just like uh what are you doing yeah. and yeah he's like so you you, you is just a slander and hate speech and john's like no it's uh it's true yeah <laughs> yeah he, he reads all the stuff he's like so you're reporting slander and hate speech no i just it's... and he's like no i just i'm filing a complaint against the channel because i agree <laughs> it's his own channel <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's basically saying yes i am hating on phil 
And he keeps yeah. bringing he keeps bringing up the fact that he wants this information to get to Google CEO. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty great, man. So even his fucking best friend, you know, is left 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 he saw, is against. He basically he saw what Phil became and fucking bailed. Yeah, and we haven't even talked about his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I don't, that's another his night. his daughter. Yeah, his daughter, his little son that he keeps. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i don't know it's, it's he's a he's a prick that's what there that's all there is to it that's all there is get to us it. you get us going on dsp and we go for forever yeah man it's not like nerf nerf gun kid where it's just interesting to watch it's dsp brings out another level of how the fuck you know how the fuck and why how can this guy be so lost in in his own fucking dark dark side <laughs> or whatever he's just he's and, his head's up his ass completely and he makes such a seemingly a good living from it yeah yeah i mean he has a huge house he drives a bmw even though it's leased how do you account for that i don't know man it's, i mean he's stealing money i think that's a big part of it <clears throat> yeah but i mean how does he i mean just to even get that far, he's he's stealing money with their sanction. You know, it's not like he's breaking into a house; he's asking them for it and yeah. then just taking it. They hand it over. Yeah, yeah, it's, exactly. It's getting harder. It's getting harder for him. Yeah. It's getting. Harder I think. For him. What's it's, his Patreon? Uh, it's D- Dark Side Phil. Yeah. Just search DSP Patreon. It'll come up. Look at the fucking picture on his Patreon, dude. Look at that. Yeah, I know. Look at that smug motherfucker. Oh. Um. It's disgusting. Oh my god, he looks, he really does look disgusting. He's fucking, dis- he's gross. He's a gross. God, he's dude. really actually disgusting looking. Yeah, yeah. Wow, And man. all of, all of the words on all of his pledges have been fucking changed to basically say, no, Project 7 doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. You're not getting yeah. shit. His words have been changed to allow him to steal easier. Yeah, and he's lost a lot of pledges. Yeah, recently. yeah. it still blows my mind that he's making twelve hundred a month though. Oh, almost thirteen now. Yeah. Stretch goal: ten eighty p professional camera. Yeah, which which turn into uh, studio foam and uh, mic. That's the one. Yeah, he never got it. He was supposed to get that months ago when he first hit his goal. That was one of his first ones. Never happened. He's a dick. He stole that money. He stole that money and he bought a fucking air conditioner yeah. for his office. Yeah. He fucking he put up all these goals and took the money under false promises. Yeah, and he's been buying the bare minimum shit to make people think that he's making progress when he's not. Yeah. And of that, and of, and possibly. of course, and of course, playing half a game and then saying if you want to see the rest, yeah, pay me a thousand more. <laughs> really, dude, it's it's gross. Oh my god. I like that I like that line Lurker quoted from his Patreon where it allows him to embark on more creative projects that aren't just raw gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, like what? And, and he's done nothing. He's done He said, uh, I will take 2 days off in August to work on my fucking shitty Project 7, right? And he didn't and he didn't. And he did and, but he took the days off. Do you, he took the days <laughs> no, off. Not yeah. Not exactly. Well, he he uh Street Fighter, Street Fighter. That's right, the beta fucking beta. On. That's right, that's right. Street Fighter Five beta was on for two hours on that day, so he had to cancel all of his days plans. But this is the fucked up thing when that when he was playing, he wasn't playing that because the servers were down. Mm-hmm. It was him sitting at a menu screen for two hours when he could have written a fucking page of shitty dick jokes that could have been his thing that would have at least shut people up about this. It's amazing to me. He could have sat there on stream with the fucking chat and gone back and forth with what you think would be a good w- idea for the series, guys. He could have at least done that. He sat there and he just... Mm-hmm. He, he was reading that the servers were down and he was still trying... What a fucking idiot. Yeah, you should have him on the show. Uh, you couldn't get him <laughs> he on. Would ne- he, he would never. No, no, no. You couldn't get him on. You couldn't get him on. He doesn't do shoutouts. He <laughs> <laughs> No, no. No, he does not. Another thing. Oh fuck, dude! 
when he, when he was doing the uh, when his account got flagged, his main one, uh, he was talking about, and he's also been swatted. Um, prior. What the hell does that mean? Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you in a second, Lee. So anyway, this this fuckhead, he's like, hey guys, this fucker that's flagging me on my DSP gaming channel, his big one. Oh, the way he says it, man, it gives me shivers almost. He's like, I have your name. I have your, <laughs> I have your IP, and I have your address. It's like, what the fuck are you insinuating? And the the look that he gives, and he's like, yeah. And he and he looks at the camera, and he points, and he says, "You fucked up." Yeah, it's like physical, like threatening. Yeah, that's a fucking the threat of thre- Yeah, yeah. Phys- it's like physical violence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Like a- yeah, man. And <laughs> God, he's such a gross fucking pig, dude. Oh, hey. I just. I don't think he sweats. I think he greases. Yeah. Like, look at him. <laughs> I think he. I think he sort of just lubes. Like that's what. Yeah. That's what happens with his pores. He just takes that burger grease and keeps it. And his hair, Jesus. Oh, God, he's gross, man. His hair, it it it, it always looks wet. I bet. Yeah. From what I can tell, it just always looks wet. All right, Lee. You don't know what swatting is. Yeah. All right. He lives in a good world. He, he does, man. Fucking king of the first world problems is what he is. So, swatting is is this thing that's been happening. To, I, I thank you, Lurker. This is why I'm telling me. Um, I guess it's been kind of a problem with these people who they'll be streaming or whatever, and they'll get the cops call on them while they're streaming. And so people who are watching the stream see these people get, you know, raided by the police. And it's not just oh. yeah, it's not, and it's not just like oh, this guy's doing something minor it's like oh shit he's like about to kill somebody so they break the door down more or less oh my god yeah it can get pretty uh pretty hectic and a few people i think have maybe been hurt or tackled or tased or something to that extent yeah um it varies yeah it varies depending on who well it is. if anybody it deserves it right it's this fucker so he gets it it happens to him but uh i don't know this was it, this is june it didn't it didn't even happen to it him. Didn't, it didn't. Yeah, it's like some people came over for a second. Which I guarantee you is it, the cops that came over that day. That's the most people he's probably had the most interaction with in months. Yeah. Yeah. Basic. Basically, what happened? They someone tried to call the cops on Phil, saying all this shit, and they were they were smart and basically saw where the call was coming from and said that's not that's not right, but we gotta go check. Yeah. And so, just a cop showed up at his house and basically said, everything okay here? And then I'm sure Phil went on a tirade about how he's an internet celebrity and yes, all this shit. I'm sure Phil did most of the talk and the cop was like, I don't give a shit. So you can hear in the audio, he uh, the cops, he's like, uh, gotta pause my Batman game. The, co- the cops are outside. And, um, you, you hear him get up, you hear him put his little shitty headset down, you hear, you hear his fat ass wobble out the door. Say okay, he's calling to his girlfriend. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. And and you know the cops. You, you hear somebody come in. You hear you hear Phil go. All right, guys, you can have a look around. And the cops are looking around. And this is so funny. The fucking cops go into his office, right? Mm-hmm. And the and the you just hear it's two cops, and you hear you just hear one of the cops say it's a lot of gamer shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, dude. And then the other cops, uh, and then the other cop kind of repeats, is like, yeah, it's a lot of gamer shit. A lot of gamer shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then the cops walk out, and they, everything's okay. I doubt any fucking weapons were drawn or any, nothing. The cops came and knocked on his door and said, can we have a look around? That's what happened. <laughs> so this, this asshole gets back on stream, and he laughs it off. He's like, yeah, I just got swatted, guys. Do, 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 do. It's no big deal. I knew it was going to happen. Let's just get on with the game. Later that night, so it's like, okay, that's probably the right. Yeah. Way, that's the right way to deal with it. What he I did was, right imp- there. I was impressed when I first saw it. Yeah, like he he was composed. So, this. Oh, you. Oh, it was. You're only hearing the audio because the rest of the screen was on a game or something, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, he handled it pretty well at the time, but when he came back that night, he made a big fucking rant video about it, and he said, uh, "You and da- you, whoever called, whoever had me swatted." You, this is attempted murder. That's what he said. That was attempted murder. You put my life and Leanna's life on the line, basically. And, eh, no. 
And then, <laughs> Not and, really. then, and then he and then he threw all of the blame to anyone who's made a how you don't play video. Yeah, yeah. To anybody who's ever spoken out against him in the forums or in the how you don't play videos. I get to get the impression that that's how he handled his parents. Probably when he was young. Probably. Still. Probably. It's I don't know. It's he's a fucking <laughs> idiot. He also likes to blame his fans for low views on his videos. Yeah, man. He'll straight he'll he'll get on his Twitter. And he'll say, oh, I'm not going to play. I'm really disappointed with the way uh, uh, Persona 4 is going, so I'm going to stop playing because no views. He'll say that. And then and then he'll go on the stream on the last time he's going to play and say, like, well, if people would tell more of their friends or tell more of their family, it would probably continue, but you guys didn't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't... I, I feel like it's a... <laughs> I feel like it's a masochistic relationship. Yeah. Like they they Sounds like being like. abused by him. Yeah, almost. Yeah, I I can't I can't think of any other reason for that. I, I love how he, I love how he exaggerates about <laughs> everything. Like <laughs> how he's like threatening to kill people and threatening to have been th or or claiming to have had his life threatened literally. Yeah. Yeah. Like, getting copyright strikes is the same as having a gun in my face. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I doubt that, Phil. I don't think so. I think it's quite the same. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a little difference. <laughs> so, that, that reminds me of another thing he was saying when he got copyright stricken. Um... He says, anyone, did, I don't know if you watched it, Boogie, but he said, anyone who makes the, uh, he calls us, he calls them detractors now. Have you noticed yeah. that? Yeah. He calls people yeah. who don't like them detractors. <laughs> oh my so, God. so he's like, anybody who is a detractor is a confirmed sociopath. He said it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my exact reaction when I first heard it, too. <laughs> Oh man, it's good stuff, man. It's better than any TV I've seen recently. <laughs> I'm a fucking sociopath. We're confirmed sociopaths, Boogie. I yeah. know. Now we are that we did this, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, confirmed sociopath, guys. Well, yeah, we're bitching about DSP bitching. What about it? Man. We've, we're part of the club. I know, I feel, I feel like I'm on the internet. Yeah, yes, we're finally on the internet. Oh, Christ. we made it. Oh, Jesus. So that I don't know. I have nothing more to say about him other than he's a gross pig, and uh, he, he's ruined. He's ruining his own YouTube channel. I'm glad. I'm glad we've gotten all this off of Max's chest. Yeah, I just, I, I found it so funny when he got copyright strikes. It was so. <laughs> it's pretty good. It was so good, man. Everything that I wanted, I, I, it's he's squirming, dude. You can see it, yeah. and he's like, he's like, if I had the money, basically what he said, if I had the money, I would sue. But I, <laughs> but I don't have the. I would sue you for. He should have had that as a stretch goal. That's what I was thinking yeah. just now. Yeah. <laughs> Change the camera goal to a sue goal. A sue goal, dude. <laughs> he said something like that. He's like, if I got taken off, this isn't the fucking same video. Holy shit! I'm glad you said that. He said. If I get taken off of YouTube, what I would probably do is go start a GoFundMe to raise enough uh, cash so I can take legal action. That's what he said. How would he tell mm -hmm. people about it without YouTube? I know, right? I guess on his Twitter. I, on his Twitter. <laughs> Maybe he'd go back to Twitch. <laughs> he will die on Twitch. <laughs> uh, Nobody's going to watch him. Yeah. Fuck that guy. There goes my phone. Yeah, fucking Twitch is hardcore competition. Yeah, man. That's serious stuff. That's serious internet. <laughs> like, YouTube YouTube is some serious fucking competition. Twitch is fucking crazy. Oh, fucker. Yeah, the man. amount of people on there. <sighs> Any other hatred? No? Nah. No? It's, it all he is, he's the king of hate. He is the king of hate. It's the king of hate. How can you go beyond? How can you do better than the king of hate? <laughs> you can't hate anybody better than the king of hate. That's right. Yeah. What he call himself that at some point? Yeah, that's that's what he calls himself. He's the king of hate. 
that's what, that's what one of his channels is called is the king of hate vlogs <laughs> oh christ huh? yeah i don't i don't dislike any other youtuber the way i dislike him i mean I, it's not like i watch pewdiepie or toby turner or any of them but it's not like they fucking treat their fans like shit either so yeah i pewdiepie's a better person Oh yeah, I think most people on in the world are probably better people. But Not he, the burn. I love watching DSP. DSP fucking fall is one of the greatest things you can watch on YouTube. I know you. You could start from the beginning with like the Metal Gear Solid ones. That's where it's all started. Yeah, man. And then just go start watching, and as the years go by, you'll see all the changes and all the the downward spiral. Or all the not changes, rather. Yeah, what, was he reputable to start? He was more popular. He was. Uh, he was He was one of the earliest, the earlier people that did gaming videos. To the extent, like, nobody else was doing ten videos a day the way he was. Yeah, he was He was pumping them out. <sighs> yeah. So he and got, he, yeah. that's old school, like, camcorder on TV screen stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then times changed, and people were like, hey, Phil... Uh, get direct capture, get fraps, get uh, uh, an Elgato, get something, you know. He's, yeah, he's get... like, no. Was he? Was he? Was he like pre YouTube? No, 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 no. He two thousand seven is when he opened his channel, and he got serious about it in two thousand and eight when his desk job fired him. Wow. Yeah. Would you say that? <clears throat> being a douchebag aside, would you say that just for the sheer amount of time? invested i mean how many years but also how much time a day and all that that he's actually earned some of that fat following uh totally regardless of the fact that he should have like re repelled his own following but but the initial if, if he if he changed with the times i would say yeah i think if his time invested was more than just playing a game yeah because he he does no editing there's nothing besides him playing it and and often uploading it af after or during his playing it. There's no effort. There's no effort other than him sitting on the fucking couch playing a game. That's what I've it is. never I've never seen him edit anything. No. And if he I, I've seen him maybe edit one thing where he would put up a screen cap of somebody saying something shitty about him so he could bitch about it. That's the most I've ever seen him edit. Yeah. Like if you watch his vlog videos, he'll bring up stuff on the screen. That's all done with the streaming program. He all, he has it all captured with the streaming program, and he clicks a button, yeah. and it all happens live. There's no editing. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I've never seen anyone make a living with so little effort on like videos. It's truly something. So no, I don't. I don't. Res if he changed with the times and he did some editing and he listened to some criticism, which he doesn't call criticism, he calls it hate. Which is why he's the king of hate, first of all. Uh, maybe I'd have some respect for him, but he didn't do any of that. Yeah, There's no it took him forever to do direct capture. Yeah, because because he was under the impression you had to play it through a small window on your computer screen with headphones and hunched over, like yeah. When it's he just didn't know what the hell he was talking about. <laughs> He's an asshole. Another thing is his fucking back. He hasn't he hasn't mentioned it in a while. His herniated mm -hmm. disc or whatever the fuck he has, gout yeah. something. I don't know. He has both. <laughs> so he says. I, I seriously doubt he has gout. He's just a piece of fat, lazy shit. That's. I think that's what's going on there. Yeah, I said it. I think. I don't. I don't think the cheeseburgers every, every day help. The, the gout situation. Jesus. So what, he complains about his back on videos. Yeah, he complains about his back. He complains that he has gout. He complains that oh, I can't. You know, I can't. My my day is hard, guys. I get up and I play video <laughs> games, and I so I have to go up the stairs to, into my office to play games. And he's legitimately complaining about it, Lee. This isn't him being quirky or like oh or sarcastic. This is him. He's legitimately complaining that he has to get up at, with a hurt back and go up the stairs and play video games in his air conditioned office. Dude, Max, how? complete would your life be if he saw this and made a hissy fit video uh pretty good i'd be pretty happy <laughs> <laughs> i'd be pretty he couldn't do shit about it too because there's nothing on best five that has anything about him yep yeah 
I just happened to come into this random stream. Yeah, I'd be pretty happy. Because, I mean, I'm going to post this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. He gets on my nerves. DSP tries it. DSP. Being a fuck. Being a fuck. Yeah. Those are my favorite videos, or DSP tries it. Yeah, where they... <laughs> we just shove the burger in his mouth. Jesus, God. And then he has... He, sho he shoves a greasy, shitty burger in his mouth, and then he'll call it shitty because it's greasy and shitty. Like, dude, you're going to fucking Arby's. You, you should expect greasy and shitty. What, what did you expect from the McDouble? Right. Yeah. Too much cheese, really? Is there, is there really <laughs> too much cheese on the McDouble? DSP. <laughs> fucking asshole. Man. Nothing's good enough. Nothing's good enough in a world where he's like squirming for views. Oh my god, cooking with the king. Yeah, yeah. I think I think cooking with the king. I think I, think I changed I think I, I think uh I changed my mind. Those are my favorite. Those are he doesn't do those anymore. Those were great. I know. Those he would really he would really do a cooking video? Oh yeah, he did like a hundred oh. of them. Oh my god. And yeah. he He'd be the suckiest cook ever. Yeah, it was bad. I, one of the videos he said, I'm just going to put cheese on it so uh, I know when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of became an end joke for a while. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> I rec I highly recommend getting into the DSP culture. It is. It's fun stuff, man. Don't actually become part of his culture. Become part of the the Kojima World Order. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's way more fun over there and the people who make those montages edit way more and put so much more effort yeah, into his videos than he does. Like every once in a while you'll get a treat where like they'll edit DSP's face on things he's calling stupid. <laughs> <laughs> or like in a Resident Evil one where loud noises happen in the background they'll replace the loud noise with Phil going Ooh! <laughs> and, he, and then Phil's just like what the hell was that <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Lee uh, Lee doesn't even know about like the Jew thing oh god that DSP did Oh my god. Oh, this was this might be his worst offense. Okay, if he's if he's this consistent and obvious, it's almost like it's on purpose. Like, I I no, dude. This like, like it's part of his thing. It's part of his thing, but it Like we wouldn't have anything to talk about right now if he weren't sh bad. Exactly. He'd just be nothing. Yeah. If not bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He'd be nothing. So tell me how he went off on the fucking most All right. oppressed people who ever existed. Okay. Okay. So this guy this fucking guy. He's. This is when YouTube kicked him off for some reason. I forget. <laughs> Not for the Jew things. No, 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 no. He he went over. Why did he go to Blip Boogie? I forget. Oh God, I don't remember. I forget. Some for some reason he left YouTube. I forget. Um. Oh, I do remember because he was telling fuckers to click his videos for, uh -huh. for ads, and you're not allowed to tell people to blatantly click videos, click ads on your videos, so you can get paid. <laughs> Right. He told people to do that. So YouTube was like, look, Phil, we're going to have to pull your ads. So I was like, fuck you. I'm going to go over to Blip TV. <laughs> and he, he did. He did. He went over to Blip. And he was actually kind of doing decent from what I gather on Blip. <clears throat> so he was playing Dead Space uh, 2, I think. And uh, he, I don't know why he started doing this. If anybody has the, the anti-Semitic... DS <laughs> DSP video. <laughs> if anybody has the anti-Semitic DSP video, link that in. I know it was during. Um, I know it was during Dead Space too. So anyway, he's on there, and you know the character. The character's name is Isaac. I forget yeah. what his name. Did you watch this, by the way? I've seen the video. I've never seen the entire playthrough, but I've seen that section. Okay. So anyway, something gets him on. Like he he gets he gets Nazis in his mind. <laughs> For some reason, you just get Nazis in his mind. Like, something about the game reminds him of Nazis. And he's going around, like, killing these necromorphs. That's what they're called, I think. Killing mm -hmm. them. Killing them. He's like, go back to the chambers, you fucks. You know, like, shit like that. As he's shooting them. Like, he's pretending to be a Nazi. Stomping out. <laughs> and he's like, my name is Isaac Heimler. And all this bullshit. Like, dude. 
Are you fucking serious? Uh, just horrible, horrible shit. Ugh. And uh, Blip contact him, and they're like, you know, Phil, <laughs> you're gonna have to. <laughs> You're not gonna. You're not welcome around here anymore. <laughs> so, and and then, he he instead of apologizing for that, which he should have, and he never did. He never apologized for that. He said, it, it, he said, it's my comedic persona. That's what he said, man, or something to that extent. He said uh, he went back to YouTube. He started a new channel. Went back to YouTube. I put it in chat for you if you ever want to watch it. There you go. There you go. He's a, he's a <laughs> DSB tries it. Yeah. <laughs> Excessive racism. <laughs> yeah, it has a few other racist moments before the Dead Space one. Yeah. But like it starts with him saying Black <laughs> What? Uh, man. <laughs> oh this was this was made by the Kojima World Order. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Lurker linked to specifically the Dead Space one, I think. Yes. Yes. I know his voice is just fucking grating, man. God, I have so much to, to catch up on. Oh, Lee, I, I hope you do, because I want to talk DSP with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so great. I love <laughs> I love how his DSP tries it, and then, they, <laughs> and then it's being a Nazi or whatever. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> one of my favorite ones is DSP tries it being a man. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> oh shit I'm gonna take a break I gotta I gotta get up and walk around for a second DSP I think is I, oh, with me. I yeah. really I really should brush my teeth and hit the hay alright Lee but All right. uh it's fun watch, hanging back. watch some DSP yeah watch some not tonight I don't need nightmares fall asleep to him Lee <laughs> yeah, dude. Just that's just, worse than let. Just put one of his. Yeah, just put one of his videos on in the background sometime, and every <laughs> once in a while you'll hear something terrible, and you'll look over and go, "Oh my fucking god!" Yeah, yeah. It'll blow your. It's, it, is that how you did it? Because I can't imagine just. Sitting this is what I. This is what I do, and, Lee. Because like, when I work in when I work in the factory, uh, every odd day, I put on like one of his long ones, and it it kind of makes time pass a little bit. It gives me something to laugh at and be amazed at at the same time. That's what I do. Me yeah, I and my I can't imagine you guys could actually watch like no. with full attention. No, no. Me no. and me and my friends, we sit and we do mystery science theater shit for it. <laughs> like we we actually watch the shit. Wow, man. And we are just we're riffing the whole time. That sounds good. Yeah. All, right. All right, guys. Have a good night. You too, Lee. Right, see you. See you guys on chat. See you, Ash. Later, folks. Yep. Bye. All right, Boogie. All right. I'm going to take a little break. I'm probably going to come in and tie it up after a little bit. I'll take a... I'll, maybe we'll take a few calls, guys. Maybe. Um. All right, going to take a break. What song should I play?